Now, this attack has dealt a very heavy blow to our efforts to bring peace to Syria, and it raises a profound doubt about whether Russia and the Assad regime can or will live up to the obligations that they agreed to in Geneva. But we don't get anywhere by ignoring the facts and denying common sense. Yes, the coalition did hit people on Saturday. We did. A terrible accident. And within moments of it happening, we acknowledged it. We didn't put out a bunch of obfuscating facts. We said, yeah, it's a terrible thing. It happened. Defense Department apologized, and we try to find out how that happened. But I got to tell you, people running around with guns on the ground from the air is a very different thing from trucks in a convoy with big UN markings all over them. Now, I am saying this, and I want to lay out these facts because it underscores why, at this moment, we just can't do business as usual. We can't walk out of this room and say, okay, uh, we're going to you know, try to continue or we'll have a ceasefire that everybody knows can't work. 